what is good friends we got more world cup and we got destiny vs versus cg mas aka F friends i think france versus um is it versus brazil i think it's versus brazil but i'm 100 sure and this is annoying because i wanted to eat and it didn't give me time to eat <laughs> i got my nice lasagna on deck but we see an interesting mega hero cross bulky offense from destiny device or balance like i always struggle you guys know this. <laughs> like, for me, bulk and fence and balance is kind of the same. That goes over in each other playstyle thing. If that's even a sentence, man. But I see Jumas brings Volcarona plus Dark Trio. Which makes me think that it could be Hidden Power Eyes Volcarona with a Psyche Yom Z. Which, um, Destiny Device is probably gonna be Scarf Kelly with Stone Edge. And the thing is, yeah, Scarf Kelly can revenge your Vol the Volk, but it can't really switch in if it's Z Psychic. Because it will just get blown away by that. So this is going to be hard for Destiny Device to play around this Volcarona. It's just disgusting Volcarona how it like influences how you have to team build. Duck Tree also influences how you have to play. I assume it's going to be Spadef Jirachi. With Stealth Rocks, um, Z-Move Landris or Z-Move Kyurem? I, um, I could see Offensive Landris with Earth Blade. Mm -mm -mm. But he could also be um, Life of Curum, Z Move Landris, and the yeah, Aspect of Jirachi. But I'm not 100% sure about the land if it's offensive. I'm leaning towards defensive offensive Landris. He doesn't really have good. Besides Mega Heracross, he doesn't have a good 1000 arrow switch, and I'm just trying to see his team structure. But he has a good amount of Ninja checks. Some Greninjas on Protein, they don't even run Gunk Shot anymore, because Type of Fiend is not that common. But it's still, you obviously still have to consider it, but yeah, you can go Kelly on Greninja like at least one time. He needs off Heartful Volcarona. So this is a... <laughs> interesting position. If this Kyurem doesn't have Dragon Step, the Volcarona is fine here. Wow, this is a tough turn. I really don't know what I would do here for a Destiny Device. Because the moveset is Ice Beam, Roost, HP Fire, Fusion Bolt. He really can't do much. Because a plus one Fire Blast is just gonna blow this Volcarona away. Uh, this, not this Volcarona, this Kyurem. Um, let me go to SM, to SM Calcs. Volcarona versus Kyurem Black. Let's say ICMZ Wallbreaker. Okay, f Z the Z Ice Beam would do 5 million. Yeah, the Z Freeze Shock. Oh, the Z Freeze Shock would just kill. So if he has the Z Freeze Shock, I would just go for it here because it Oko's. I really did not think that it would Oko, good lord. I know Kyurem has a lot of attack. It's the max attack spread. It's usually the set that people run on the Freeze Shock. But he goes for Inferno Overdrive and Oko's the Kyurem, showing why Z moves are broken. Like, I'm just talking about this Z move that can Oko Volcarona even though it's resisted. But obviously this move can also Oko. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting this to be Z Psychic, like I said, because he was paired with Dagi. But obviously Z moves are broken, it doesn't really matter. You can obviously have Z Fire Blast, that's fine. And he can <laughs> we see Dimash picks up the kill turn one. As he have Fire Blast does 55 to 67 and Z move obviously always almost always Oko is it was a roll, 81% chance to Oko. Okay. He just gonna double operate in the Ladios here slash Clefable. But I don't know why land resist is, is the play then. I think he predicted the Clefable. Unless he's randomly hmm, not sure. This is either Scarf, Ladios, Scarf, Gren. He goes in the Clefable. Okay, this confuses me. Why did he go in the Clefable? Like what what was he fearing there? He probably couldn't Oko the Landers and then want to take a U turn with his Larry. I'm not really sure what he was fearing there. He was fearing. I, I actually don't know what he was fearing there. But Echo Fable can throw. Um, Jirachi can throw up the rocks. This is going to be Rocks Clefable and this is Rocks Dagi. I think Clefable is a way more reliable style of Rocks Setter, so I would not think it's Rocks Dagi on this team. If it's Fist Death Clive, he can even stay in here and make a risky play. 
because Jiraji is kind of scared to go for Iron Head because if Volcarona comes out, he could potentially get burned from the flame body. Exactly, so he just goes hard into the land risk. I could see him staying and going for rocks, but he doesn't do that. He just goes into Volcarona. But I'm still thinking this is Hidden Power Ice. I predicted the Z-move wrong, but I'm still thinking this is Hidden Power Ice. Because he has a dagger to get rid of Heatran, so he doesn't really need Hidden Power Ground. And he made that double on point on the Landris, because Hidden Power Ice from a Volcarona to a Landris should do it should do the job. Even if it's defensive Landris. Pretty sure Hidden Power Ice should Oko. Yeah, it does 9, it does, oh no, never mind. I mean, yeah, it says HP gone, but I put it as ice. It does 82 to 98. So he doesn't want to risk the potential roll. Let's the Lenos get up the rocks. That was risky going for rocks, because if the Volcarona went for equivalence there, I think the game would have been almost over. Like, if the Lenos doesn't have Stone Edge or Supersonic Sky Strike from there, the Volcarona would have blown him away, because he could have equivalenced again then, and it would have been over. So that was really risky. Going for Stealth Rocks with the land on the Volcarona, but I can understand C. Juma's play, and I also can understand Destiny Vice's play because he was in the back and he kind of had to make some risky play to come back in the game. And I can get that C. Juma was scouting for a potential Stone Edge, or for a potential I don't know some Super Sonic Sky Strike, something like that. Even though I still think it was Zima and Kyurem, I'm just trying to figure to um why the, I'm just trying to understand why they made the play they made. Okay, they're playing a bit too fast. What happened here? Kofaber got up the rocks on the land was a U-turn. Jirachi went right back in the top of Fini. I don't think he wants to defog at all because he want to pressure the Volcarona. He does taunt break in the leech seed. He just just go for heavy slam, which is smart. Because a lot of Tapu Finis, um, yeah, they obviously outspeed Celestine and can taunt them, so that's a really good play that you just go for heavy slam expecting that. It's not like the opponent has a Volcarona like you, so you couldn't get he couldn't have a switch in like that that would burn you with flame body. If he goes in the Landers, we would find out if he's helmet, so Heavy Slim is definitely the play. I think he's just helmet Landers. From the moves that we've seen, U-turn and rocks, and from the way this has been played. And Yeah, like I said earlier, probably Z move Kyurem. He just go for Nature's Madness. I think I would have gone for Nature's Madness first and would have taunt on the next turn, but he did not lead seed. But yeah, now he's gonna switch out his type of Fini because he's getting low. He's gonna switch it out, I think, into Jirachi. If he's a Wish Protect Jirachi, I don't really understand why he let his type of Fini get weakened. I think I would have gone to Jirachi instead. Because, yeah, the Volcarona. The Volcarona doesn't really come in on Jirachi because rocks are up at the moment. So, like, he doesn't want to go Volcarona as long as rocks are up. He wants to go on the lighting and get up the rocks. Which is another reason why I would keep my type of Fini healthy. Because. The Ladi can come in on that, so I would like try to switch this out, and then if you predict the Ladi, it would double into this. But yeah, Tapu is super low. I can see Sijima's going for a lead seed here, because the Heavy Slam is so obvious, and he has been spamming Heavy Slam for the entire game. He does predict him to go for lead seed, he does get it correct. I think he would, yeah. I thought he would go for lead seed there. And now he's just gonna go into Landris on the Heavy Slam to give the Seller Stealer some helmet damage, I assume. And Tijumas might predict that, but I think he's just he's just gonna go into Landris here, like or into Jirachi, but Landris makes more sense to me. He can also make a risky play Moonblast, predicting the double switch into Ladios, because the Ladios would come in here on the Landris. That's but I think that's too risky for Sijumas going Ladi here. Heavy Slam is probably fine. He goes on a Kaleo as a Duck Trio comes out. So that's a workout for Sichibas. He tried to catch the Jirachi on this switch. Interesting. But this is, he already used the Zemo for Volcarona, so he couldn't Oko Jirachi anyway. But he could have weakened it with Duck Trio for sure. So Destiny Vice cannot double switch because, you know, Arena Trap is a balanced. Uh, it's not broken at all, you know. I hate Arena Trap, I wish, I wish this got banned, this Pokemon, or at least I should retest the ability. So he can just go Ladi on the Scald. He can try to get a burn. He goes for Toxic, flexing on them. I mean, Scald would have been fine there, but 
Toxic is guaranteed chip damage on Latios, which is nice. Because if he, if the Lighty dies, he can try to get the rocks back up for the Volk. This thing is Volk can come in hard on Landris on the turn that he sets up rocks, so not sure how reliable that is. Like Volcrona coming in hard on land on Lando's rocks if the Lando doesn't have edge. I think the game might just be over from there if the Kaldu dies. I mean the Kaldu is still there to check the Volk, but like you can also Giga Drain predict the Kaldu to come in. It's not like CG Mass can't play around that. So if I'm Destiny device, I probably would go predict the Volcarona here, double back into Kaldu. Yeah, that would probably double back into Kaldu here. If CG Mass stays in here and makes a risky play. It's way too risky, but I could see him staying in. Because you don't want a U-turn here, because he can fl get flame body burned. Did he double into Keldeo? Yeah, he did double but into Landris, so I don't think I would have made that play. I would have doubled into Keldeo. Um, okay. So now he's... Oh my god, he's Yachi Berry? Okay, so if he's Yachi Berry, this makes a lot more sense. Because now he can get up with the rocks and he can go into Keldeo here. I was about to like go insane and was like why the fuck did he let his land was take that hit but then I thought he actually buried so interesting. <laughs> so I think he has to go kill you here, right? If he quiver dance there, I think the game would have been over because he could have quiver dance twice. And yeah the game would have been over if he quiver dance twice there, so that was really risky going for rocks. But he does go on a Kelly and he breaks that goes for Giga and gets a crit and this game is over. Volcarona showing why it's broken, the crit definitely mattered, but what can you do? Like, he was playing it com fine, like, he was playing it well. Uh, Giga Drain does 56 to 67, so yeah, crit that mattered. But I can see what he was doing, he was weakening the Kaleo. Like, if I was Destiny wise, yeah, I would have doubled next turn breaking the Lari so he can't defog, but he doesn't really have anything to outspeed the Lari, so he couldn't even prevent the defog. Like his team is slow as fuck. What? Or was he scarfed, Jirachi? I don't think. I don't think he was scarfed, Jirachi. Like I don't. He couldn't have anything to outspeed the Volcarona at that point. That, I mean, the Larios that prevents the defog anyway. He was scarfed, Kelly, obviously. So he didn't have anything. So he's just gonna go for a Fire Blast dodge. With Heracross doesn't get it, and Sijumas picks up the win. The crit was definitely unfortunate, but Sijumas played it well. That was yeah, like you said, a nice play. I think he deserves the win for that nice play. Um, Volcarona showing what's busted. Potentially getting the roll turn one on the Qurum was really huge because if he didn't get that roll and the Qurum had sub zero slam and killed the Volcarona in revenge, this game would have been a lot different. But thank you guys for watching, and I know there's Vespa vs. Snow coming up soon. So, yeah, how do you like this? I get the Young World Cup coverage for you. Um, it might be a bit too much, so some people might not be able to watch every game. I completely understand that. You can just watch the game that you want to see the most. But I would obviously appreciate if you watch all the games because I put in the effort. And yeah, we'll see you guys. But the next game between Italy and I think it's US. I forgot the team Vespa is on. But they should start very, very every second and I want to eat something so I hope they give me like 5 minutes. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. And we have pl cool play for Messi Jumas there, he serves the win and grits to grits to friends. I have I know some people from France so I guess I'm kind of rooting for them, yeah. Uh, not, not I guess, I'm kind of rooting for them. So peace out boys. See you with the next game.